All right, guys, I am back. Uh, I found another. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, God, I'm going to get rid of this thing. Look at this. Look at this. We do 26,000, almost 27,000 damage per hit with our primal heck and terror bird now. It's insane. Anyways, you guys might have seen it just a moment ago. Is it still alive? It is. Nightmare Pegasus, 812, level 812. That's a really good level. I kind of want to clear the area of any predators. Random heck and hippo here. What in the world? Ew, it's all contorted. Ugh. <laughs> What's that Rex over there? Okay, it's just a regular Rex. We killed that thing in a hit and now like half of a hit. Jeez. I kind of want to clear the area to secure the area. Make sure this Pegasus cannot dive from anything. And I think we might be fine for right now. How much Torpor? 59.6k. Yeah, look at this. It's a, it's like black. It's like full black, and then it's got a little bit of purple on its wings. Remember the the other nightmare pigs this is 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 we've seen. They were like all white. So this is real. Oh god, is it attacking me? Oh god, I'm gonna have to knock it out. Okay, it's knocked out. It's knocked out. Okay. Oh god. Uh. Yeah. I uh, apparently it does like meteor shower attacks. Did it just damage itself? Like it's damaging me. Oh my god. Is it going to kill itself? I think that's how the other one died from like last or two episodes ago. Like at the end of uh, episode 30, that was like 55 minutes long. I think that's what happened to that one. Is this one, uh, if I put food in its inventory. Oh, I don't have anything for it though. Oh, wait, why does it have raw meat and stuff there? That's kind of weird. Uh, let's head home though. Let's go grab some kids. Remember, how many do I need? 48 rock grits. That's all I need. 48 rock grits. We're relatively close to home. Let's go home real quick. Let's let's go check up on our Fiomia. Check up on our fridge. See if we have a bunch of rockets around 50 or so for that. Uh, let's see. Let's go check up on the Fiomia for that uh, Nightmare Pegasus. Because I cut. Well, we don't have enough right there. Probably have some inside the fridge. Because I do want to finally tame one of those guys. Just because they seem really really cool, you know. <laughs> let's see rockets. 155. That's more than enough. Woo! Okay, let's grab those. I have some eggs as well. Let me put those up. Uh, two Rex eggs right there, and we got some uh, Ascendant stuff because I killed an Ancient Rex off camera to defend my base. I'll, I'll get to that here in just a bit. You can see uh, there's missing railing right there, but let's hurry up to the Nightmare Pegasus before it wakes up or before it gets attacked by another creature. I kind of want to see though. I need it to eat a piece of food first, and then it'll tell me whether or not it's taming effectiveness. Oh, I think there's like a, there's like an Allosaurus or something over there. We're going to have to watch out, but I want to see if it's taming effectiveness went down. Let's give it one rocker it. That way it eats that. Uh, no one did not. Oh god, Sarko, Sarko. Is it going down now? It's still at 96%. That's good, that's good. Let's continue giving it to uh, Rogrids there. And let's give it a gre uh, Grelin. Let's give it one of those things. Boom. Drain its food all the way down. Make the Torpor go all the way up. Alright. How's the, uh, team effectiveness and levels and stuff? 96% uh, effectiveness and 30, or 900. 391 levels. I don't know where I was getting those numbers from. Jeez. But it's level 812, so we're getting a ton of levels for this guy. Uh, oh yeah, it is a guy. I wonder if the white ones are female and the black ones are male, or if we, this is just like kind of RNG, but this one's all blacked out. Cause I, I didn't really pay attention to the other ones that we saw. Like there were like two or three other ones that we saw throughout the series. I don't know if those ones were female cause those have always been white, but this one's pure pitch black except for a little bit of purple on them. Anyways, oh god, nine more level ups on this guy. Yeah, I've been I've been killing some stuff over here. Like I just said, uh, I killed an ancient Rex. I killed uh, like glacial gigantosaurus, a few regular gigantosaurus. Got a ton of level ups and been doing almost exclusively melee damage. I did do a few uh, movement speeds just so this guy moves a little bit faster, especially when he's flying. So let's just do the rest on melee damage. We're doing like twenty seven thousand damage per hit just a moment ago. Kind of want to see thirty thousand. Oh my gosh! But unfortunately, remember. He only does, like, straight just melee damage. He doesn't do, like, a Nash, like, effect or anything like that. Does this, like, what, 5% of its health over time? Or 5% of its health over 5 seconds or something like that, like our Zombie Rex does? So it doesn't have an uh, effect like that. So that kind of sucks. Oh, God! Wait, hold on. What happened to the Nightmare? Oh, okay, there it is right there. Whew. I think it's the, uh, the Zombie Titanosaur that died right here, right? Is this the bag? Or the uh, Zombie Brachio? Or, no, Gas Bag. Okay, I'll get that Gas Bag ladder then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of want to check on the Nightmare Pegasus here in just a moment, though. Let's see. What is... 98%. 98% with... Oh, boom. Got it. Nice. Level 1201 baseline. Holy heck. Oh, I have some level-ups for myself as well. Hold on. Uh, two level-ups? Let's do health for both of those. Let's hit that 500 health. And then from now on, I'm going to stop applying level-ups to health. And I'm probably going to do melee damage and maybe some other stuff as well. And we'll, uh, we'll see what that's all about. Oh, man. I could ride this guy right at the bat, too. That's cool. So he flies, obviously. Yeah, he's a Pegasus. He flies. Honestly, not too bad. Oh, what are his stats, though? Hold on. 3,000 health right out of the bat. Let me get rid of those carrots, though. Uh, I wonder... I, I assume he just eats vegetables uh, right out the bat, but does he actually harvest them? 
Yeah, he harvests berries, so that's pretty cool. Apparently, yeah, I, I read from the, uh, the mod creator that, like, tweeted me or left a comment or something like that. That, hold on, how is it, uh, uh, let's see how much damage it actually does. Let's try and find a regular critter. Here we go, Parasaur right here, just attack this thing. 867 damage right to that, okay. But there's also, like, a secondary, oh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Hold on, I'm trying to find out what button this is. Oh, guys, is that it? Is that the, the, uh, the meteor shower? Oh, God! It is! Okay, here's the meteor shower attack. Yeah, this is what it was doing, like, defensively when we were knocking it out. It was, like, raining down. Man, how... Oh, God, this is lasting a while. And this is completely random, by the way. I have no control over where these meteors are landing. So, I guess if we're in, a, like, an altercation with, like, a bunch of critters, we could, we could just rain down meteors all over the place. But I want to see how much damage they actually do. That's a big old poop right there. Holy heck. Well, we have a lot of critters right here, I suppose. We can test it out right now. He only has to, oh god, took 800 damage right there. We have 30,000 health, though. We have an okay amount of health. Oh, 10,000 damage? 8,000? And that's whatever it hits. I just killed a Brano. I just killed a Brano. Got some level ups. Let's do another one of those. Hold on. Here we go. Right between all these uh, sauropods. Hopefully going to do a ton of damage. Oh god, Rex is getting kind of low on health right now, you guys. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a panacea loaded in my hot bar just yet. Holy heck. Alright, how are we doing? Uh, let me, let me actually... No, 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 no. Drugs, panacea, or, uh, yeah, panacea. Put that down there, just in case we need it. We're already regened all the way up to, uh, full health right now, so I don't think we need to worry about that, but... Whew. Yeah, we have some level ups for this guy. Already. 11 level ups. I kind of want to look at the baselines, though, and see how its baselines are, uh, compared to... I guess, if anything, we can let, uh, let the primal turbo just follow us back home, because we're like, you know, we just flew back, flew back home just a moment ago, so... Boom, there you go. Uh, so we'll be able to fly back home here in just a moment, no problem, you guys. Oh, I wonder... Yeah, I don't think you could apply the, uh, I don't think you do the meteor shot. Oh god, look at the terror bird flying all over the place. Yeah, let me set you to passive mode, that way you don't attack anything while he's flying all over the place. Yeah, his movement speed is way better than this Pegasus, so he's just, like, literally running circles around us right now. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to the base, though. I kind of want to speak at a base, look at the baseline stats of this Nightmare Pegasus, see what's good for leveling up. Maybe I'll read the Pugnation Guide about it. And, like, read a little bit more. Oh, another star right here. Let's kill this thing. Boom, one hit. I'm like, it's, it's base melee damage. It doesn't do too much. Uh, do I have to land? How do I, uh... So, it looks like it has two attacks. One with its, I assume, the unicorn horn? Oh, it doesn't have a horn. Yeah, okay, I just with just with its faith. And then there's another one with its, like, heckin' back hind legs. I wonder if that does more damage. Kind of want to test it out on something, though. Uh, let me set the Terror Bird to unfollow right here. There you go. You can, you can land now, hopefully. Oh, oh, man, it's almost the same level as the Terror Bird, and the Terror Bird's had a few level ups. Terror Bird, yeah, Terror Bird tamed at 1175. Yeah, this one's baseline is higher than the Terror Bird's. Holy heck. All right, well, let's uh, uh, attack the trike. Let's see if the hind legs. 867. 867 compared to. Eight. Okay, so it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We just knocked it. This does Torpor? Hold on, do the hind legs do Torpor? Hold on, let's attack a Pteranodon randomly. Boom. It did! It did about 3,000 Torpor right there. Let's do a normal attack on a... Uh, let's do it on that Pteranodon. If we can catch up with it, that is... Oh, I think we're actually, uh... We're we closing in on it? Oh, 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 oh. Let's do a regular... Okay, so the hind legs do Torpor when you attack, but the... Like, attacking with the front, that just does strictly... Melee damage, and, and of course the hind legs do like 3,000, and I assume that scales with the uh, the melee damage, like if we level that up a few times, I guess I'll go up and we'll do more Torpor, so that's kind of interesting, you guys. Pretty cool. Uh, 3,000 Torpor, and of course it's on a mount too, so that's awesome. I don't have to risk, uh, you know, dying if, you know, I want to knock something out, I have to come down here and do, oh my god, do 17,000 or so Torpor with that, uh, that pike right there, so if we can get this guy, oh, 12 levels now, holy heck, yeah, let's check the baselines, see how that is. Uh, so melee damage is actually the high. Oh, not not the highest, but second highest. 184. Health is at 187. So we can actually get let's get health up to like 50,000. How many? Uh, only a few. Oh god, 51,871.1. Holy heck! Only a few levels right there. What was that? Like five or six levels right there to get up to 50k. That's pretty good. Let's do the rest on melee damage. Yeah, let's read the Pugnation guide for it though. Oh god, it's like a cool little custom logo right there. Nightmare Pegasus. <laughs> Although not technically a normal dino, he does not fit any other category. This Pegasus will summon a meteor shower. Yeah, we learned about that. But that will destroy their foes and gather... Oh, the gathers are corpses as well. So that that Brano slash Bracco, what did we kill just a moment ago? I guess we also harvest this dead flesh as well whenever it died from the, the meteor shower. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this damage scales with the melee damage. Ooh, that's good. So we just leveled that up. It was doing like 8,000 slash 10,000. Oh, man, where's my map? Uh, there it is right there. 
I wanted to exit out. <laughs> we're doing like 8,000 to 10,000 damage per hit, like, Meteor, with a Meteor Shower attack. We just leveled up melee damage a few times, so I can only imagine how much- well, Let's actually check on this Diplodocus over here. It's like sliding on the ground without any actual animations. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> but we're doing 3,000 Torpor, 4.5k Torpor now. That's actually really good. So we just basically, uh, half to, or, you know, applied half on top of it. I don't know what you call that, 150% or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we can knock this thing out pretty easily. Holy heck, with 4.5k per hit, this is actually pretty good, you guys. And every, every hit is doing 1,200 heck in damage. I think with our pike, we were doing like 2,000 or something like that. So if we want to knock something out, and it has like low health, like I was, I don't know if I told you guys this, but whenever I was knocking out that, uh, the per, or not perlovia, but, uh, what's it called? The Fiomia, yeah, that's what it's called. The Fiomia, I actually knocked out another one off camera that was like level 100 or something like that. I hit it with a pike once and it died. So, yeah, it, it knocked something out and doing significantly less damage, but uh, hopefully more Torpor with the uh, Nightmare Pegasus. That seems pretty good, you guys. This might be our new way of knocking things out using Nightmare Pegasus because, of course, this thing has 50 get. <sighs> Can I give it a saddle, though? Did it say anything about it being technical? Can I make an Ekis saddle? Let's see. Ekis. And, and, oh. Uh, ek two U's, not two Q's. Uh, Alpha Echis, Fabled Echis, Demonic Echis. Holy heck. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can afford that. No metal right there. Nice. Let's go home. Let's go see if we can actually give this guy, similar to what we were doing earlier, giving the Easter Bunny its saddle. That way it has some armor rating. It's going to be nice and defended against any any creators. For some reason, my Terror Bird is still in flight mode, so there you go. Uh, Primal Terror Bird, that is. Oh, yeah. By the way, yeah, I, I was going to tell you guys, but yeah, we, we... I don't know if you guys noticed it, but like at the end of last episode or something like that... Oh, is that it right there? Is that the bag that it left? Hold on, what is that? Uh, oh man, my compost bin actually died. Whoops. Oh man, there's so much poo inside of there. Holy, and a lot of uh, thatch right there, not Torpor. Uh, speaking of Torpor, I don't know why I said Torpor, but uh, <laughs> I, I admit thatch. But speaking of thatch, I read about the glacial woolly rhinos. Apparently they're really good at harvesting wood, you guys. That's really good. Uh, maybe there's something that's really good at getting uh, thatch as well. So if that's the case, and then we might want to get a bunch of thatch and just kind of load these uh, compost bins up with a bunch of heckin' thatch. But for right now, let me just ride this Pegasus. Is he going to always flap his wings? Oh, I guess he's... Okay, he's only going to flap his wings when he's in flight mode. Okay, that's good, because it's getting kind of loud right there. Holy heck. Let me grab all those back, and... Oh, I guess I could drop feces. Let me drop all the feces right here. That way I know where to place the new one. But yeah, it's... It, oh, wait, where'd it go? Did I just put it in your... Oh, I did just put it all in your inventory right there. Whoops. Okay, let me just drop the uh, fertilizer. Sure. Fertilizer. There we go. Fertilizer. Drop the fertilizer. Okay, there we go. Now that has a bag. Okay, I need to make another bag because that one broke, actually. So that kind of sucks. Oh, I wonder. Did it actually break from the Apex Megapithecus, maybe? Maybe that's what finally broke and I just now noticed it. Huh. All right, well, anyways, uh, those are easy to make. We, we can do that, no problem. And speaking of easy to make, let's actually go over to, I assume, the smithy. Let's see if we can make an Ekis... Oh, there it is right there. Ekis Saddle. Should be able to upgrade it pretty substantially, I'm sure. And give it a bunch of armor rating. But before we do that... Oh, yeah, look at all those uh, ancient wrecks, like, like costumes we have right there. Yeah, like I was saying, <laughs> before I got distracted like a thousand times, we did get attacked by an ancient Rex. I don't know if you guys saw it like last episode or whatever, but there's an ancient Rex like really close to our base. And it came over here and started attacking. Had to get on my uh, zombie Rex to kill it. But it seems like all the damage, noticeable damage it did, was destroyed one of my torches right here, standing torches, and one of the railings up there. Because looking at the actual walls here, the foundations, everything seems full health. Yeah, nothing's actually damaged. By the looks of it, so that's... Oh, and this uh, standing torch right here died too. Oh, and, oh no! Oh, my gravestones died too! That's probably what I lost! From the Megapithecus? I didn't notice it. You guys remember, we still had the gravestones for a little while. But now they're gone. That's probably that's probably what it was doing, like, 2,000 damage to every every time that we saw it, like the numbers popping up while we're like trying to lure it away like two episodes ago. I, that explains it. Man! Ah, well, I guess we're... I don't know if... Actually, we can make just regular gravestones, can't we? Uh, yeah, we can. I don't know what I'm freaking out about. <laughs> Alright, well, we can just remake those then. Okay. <laughs> not that big of a deal. Let's go over here to the Nightmare Pegasus. Oh, did I not grab the, the thing? Okay, well, let's go grab it real quick. There it is right there. Let's go put it on the night, Nightmare Pegasus if we can, because I assume it's just an Ekis, right? Oh, oh, yep, yep, there it is right there. So we can give it... Oh, and you can actually physically see the saddle on it, too, so that's kind of cool. So we can give it additional armor rating on top of what it... Like, because we could ride it right off the bat. That's good that we can actually give it armor rating as well, so that's awesome. Let's give it some more melee damage. I think I'm always going to do melee damage now. 50,000 health is a pretty good, yeah, pretty decent amount. Maybe I'll get up to 100,000 if I have a lot of level ups, but it took like, what, five, six level ups to go to 
30,000 to 50,000 or something like that. So it's going to take a l quite a lot of levels to get to 100,000. So especially because, you know, you need exp exponentially more XP to level uh, it up every time you get higher level. But for right now, oh, yeah, we had this uh, fabricated sniper rifle here, too. Yeah, I, I wanted to upgrade that thing. But speaking of upgrade, let's see how many times we can upgrade this uh, Echo Saddle Apprentice Journeyman. Yeah, I, I got a comment saying that I shouldn't have uh, got rid of that Journeyman. I think it was Journeyman. Uh, sickle because <laughs> I have an apprentice sickle right now, but I honestly I haven't used a sickle in such a long time I don't know what it is. I think it's my trike Maybe something else, but it, we have so much fiber that I don't even <laughs> I haven't had to use my sickle for quite a while So honestly not that big of a deal if I got rid of that uh, that better sickle We have 9,000 right there 4,800 right there and probably some more over here in the uh, upgrade station already uh, Yeah, another 6,000 right there. What do we need to upgrade again? Uh, 1,200 more high and 198 more wood. Let's see how are we doing on wood? Just 6,000 right there. Let's do another 1,000. Let's transfer another 1,000. <laughs> what about hide? I forgot how much, like 1,200 or something like that. Yeah, let's get a 5,000 from the, the storage box right there. Golly. So upgrade. Boom. Is it a print or a... Yep, ascendant right there. Nice. So 227.7 armor rating baseline uh, for ascendant level, that is. Can we make it go up more, though? We can. 234, 275, I assume, was the max. Let's see. How, how much higher can it go? No, it, it went past that. 325, maybe? Hold on. 320? 325. That, that's that got to be the max. 325 armor rating for an, uh, a Nightmare Pegasus with 50,000 health. That's really good, you guys. Nice. Oh, 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 for some reason. I looked, I just looked at that Gallimimus egg right there. I forgot. I wanted to incubate. I got so distracted, you guys. <laughs> I wanted to incubate that uh, Alpha. Where is it? Alpha. Oh god, where is it? Hold on. Indom. Oh, they're over here. Okay. Alpha Indom, there it is right there. Okay. Wait, why was it not showing up just a moment ago? Oh, it was. Okay, I I, I guess I, I was expecting the egg to be red. But yeah, okay, there it is right there. Fertilized Alpha Indomus egg. I want to... Uh, oh, let's keep that in the fridge until we're actually ready. Let's get to air conditioners. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's actually unlock air, air conditioner just in case. But isn't there... Ah, uh, let's see. Let's go to S+. Plus. Let's see. I think there is something. They can use these... Like, an incub... Or, uh, is it called an incubator? There's an AA incubate, egg incubator. It gives insulation to nearby fertilized eggs to hatch them easily. Works in place of air conditioners, too. That's pretty good. Might want to... Let's unlock that, because we have the anger points. We have 6,000. Might as well use these. But, uh... Nest? No. Let's see. What was it called? I know there was an S+, plus thing. That we could use eggs for. Oh, speaking of eggs, I need to go check them on the uh, egg collector. See if the East Bunny laid any eggs. There's so many things going on, you guys. Holy egg. Uh, let's let, let's scroll down and see if I can find this like egg, like uh, structure or whatever you want to call it that we could actually use to like take care of a fertilized egg. Let me see if we could find it. And if not, I, I guess we'll just use that a egg, a a egg incubator. S plus nanny is that it? Gets food to nearby babies under 15%. Imprints nearby non-adult dinos. That's pretty good. Can place preserving salt in inventory. Can use tech generator or honey for fuel. I do not have honey. I don't have a tech generator. Well, automatically use fuel if no power is available. So, so we need... I don't have honey. I don't think I've seen a bee's nest here. But then again, I haven't really been looking for them, you know? So, hmm, S plus nanny. I'm like, this is for things that are already hatched, you know? So, let me let me see if I can find something that's still an egg form. That'll take care of the actual eggs and not something that's a baby. But that was pretty close right there. Oh, God. Tecrum S plus Vivarium can store dinos and allow them to produce unfertilized eggs and poop. That's honestly a really good... I, I'd prefer that over the cryopod thing. Holy heck. Dinos will lose all items when you put them inside the Vivarium. Okay, not that big of a deal. Same thing with the cryopods. Except for, of course, the saddle that they're wearing. Requires tech gen for egg poop collection. Okay, so tech uh, generator that we just read about for uh, powering that guard... Or uh, the nanny thing, so... Yeah, we, we can't do that just yet. I, we do have element, though. I guess we could unlock that. I don't know if I'll actually use it, though, but... Uh, I'm not seeing this this thing I'm thinking about. What is this thing? Diaria? And make all types of... Oh, it's okay. Making dyes. I don't, I don't really care about that right now. But yeah, let's just make the AA incubator thing. That seems like the, the best thing for right now. So, Oh, man, we have another uh, egg collector thing right there. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, oh, speaking of AA, let's make another... Uh, where is it? The the compost bin? There it is right there. Okay, let's make one of those. And let's make... Where is it? Is that it? Right There it is right there. Okay. Let's make the egg incubator thing. Let's keep that... Uh, hopefully it's going to be nice and... Uh, there you go. Oh, it is nice and tiny. That's pretty good. We're, we could probably slip that in... Uh, where could I slip this in this? I guess we could put it on top of this. 
Yeah, this is where the, uh, there you go. Very nice. Oh, it's powered. Yeah. Oh, God. What in the world is going on there? What is happening up here? Are things climbing out of my, things are climbing out of my house again. What is it with these sauropods loving my, loving my buildings? Actually loving my buildings. Oh, my gosh. In love with my buildings. <laughs> they love my building style, huh? Model by Halen. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess it's not like an arc thing that's been, uh, being recycled or anything like that. So how does this work? Show insulate. Oh, show insulation range. So what do I do? I guess I just, I guess it's fine. Oh, the range isn't that big. It comes out to, uh, yeah, it basically covers my whole house. But yeah, it seems like just like an air conditioner. It doesn't have like an inventory and like that for me to put eggs inside of. Uh, let me uh, hide insulation rigs. Just like an air conditioner, it will condition the air around us. Do we have the egg? Oh yeah, I didn't take it out just yet. Yeah, I left it inside here on purpose. Uh, let me get the NQ. Wait, how do I? Uh, fertile? There it is right there, fertilized. Let's get the alpha one and let's drop that. Let's put it, uh, let's put it right here next to the fridge. That way it's nice and, uh, oh god, that's pretty big. And it's incubating. That's good. That's good. It's not, it's not getting damaged. Egg health is at 89.5% though. It's going to take five and a half hours for this thing to, five and a half hours for me for this thing to incubate. And of course I could speed that up by doing the slow-mo 10 or whatever and make time go by super duper quickly. It's like in level 812 bracket. See, this is this is why I kind of want to build that wall around my heckin' base. To make sure things like this don't happen. With heckin' things <laughs> crawling all over to my buildings. Jeez. But I guess for right now, while we're waiting on that egg to incubate, I don't know how many episodes it's going to take for this thing to actually incubate, but five and a half hours. I can only assume maybe two, three episodes, including off-camera work and stuff like that. Hopefully, uh, by then, we'll actually get this alpha nice and hatched. And then we'll be able to see whether or not it'll still be able to eat like raw meat, raw prime meat, all that kind of stuff, or if it actually does require only alpha kibbles. Oh god. Well, that's an enforceable way to die, golly. I guess right now we could uh actually hold on. How's the XP on this guy? Oh god, yeah, I I I need to go back to the uh I forgot he has poop in his inventory. I need to go back to the AA thing. Let's go grab the uh compost bin that we made. There it is right there. Let's go place that back down before that bag expires and I forget exactly where I know. Oh, there it is right there. I see it. Yep, I see it. Okay, that's good. Whew. All right, let's place it down about right here. Is that good? Hopefully that's good. Let's grab a... Uh, well, that fertilizer doesn't really belong there. <laughs> well, that fertilizer doesn't go inside the compost bin. But let's get on our Nightmare Pegasus now. He's got all the poop inside of him and a really good armor rating. And let's go over here and let's go transfer all the poop back inside of here as, as well as all the thatch that we have as well. So let's actually grab the feces. There it is right there. Feces. Transfer feces. Boom. There you go. It's already picked up a couple feces right there. Nice. And the thatch right there. Nice. Because of course you do need to combine thatch with feedly feces in order to make the fertilizer. Anyways, yeah, I, I did want to come over here and check them on the egg thing. Because we do have the uh, Easter Bunny over there potentially laying all sorts of eggs. Let's see. Oh god, we do have a pretty good uh, Quetzal egg. Oh, Tech Quetzal? Well, this is unfer these are all unfertilized, of course, because it's from the uh, from the Easter Bunny. Ankylo egg, Camelosaurus egg, Megalania egg, Gigantosaurus egg, and Quetzal egg. And I assume, judged by the spoil time of almost six thousand days, <laughs> I assume this thing also uh, make sure make sure the eggs don't spoil super duper quick, right? Uh, option to gather fertilized eggs in radial menu. Do we have that enabled? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, I think I think we do because it says disable unfertilized egg pickup because so that means we already have it enabled. So that's good. All right. So we already have a pretty good variety of eggs that we just picked up from that uh, that Easter bunny. So, yeah, if we find more Easter bunnies here in the future, definitely want to tame them. That way we get more like variety of eggs. And of course, yeah, like I said, they're always going to be, I guess, always unfertilized because, you know, a heck an Easter bunny drawing fertilized egg. That'd be kind of crazy and maybe a little bit OP, honestly. So that's good that we got those eggs. We use those for fertilizer. So that's awesome. Uh, I suppose, let's actually go put up some of the stuff, and I do have, you guys might have noticed, uh, like I said, I, I killed some ancient rexes off camera, one of them defensively on my base, and another one with my primal terror, which was kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't even have to heal him up at all, it was actually a pretty one-sided battle, even though he wasn't, like, healing up every time he deals damage like our zombie rex. Let's put up all the, uh, ancient rex costumes, I might start getting rid of those, because I have a lot of those nowadays, golly. But we have, uh, we have some stuff over here I might want to put up, you guys, so, oh god, so whoa! 632% melee damage ascendant compound bow. What's the one? The one we already have over here is 389. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. Let's put this one up over here. 
We have an Ascendant Helmet right there, Flak Helmet. That might be a pretty good backup armor if we, like, ever die and I, I come back to the base. And I, I want to go back and get our stuff back, and I want to have armor. So that, that might be- I might save that just because I might use that if I ever die. But we have some compound bow- Ascendant level compound bows over here. We're become, probably going to get 500 metal, 500 whatever else. Of oh god, this guy on Limus has been here for so long. Boom, boom, you're knocked out, Ada. <laughs> Well, let's, let's actually grind these up now, so... Yep, 500 metal, 500 uh, organic pumper, 500... Oh god, what did it just eat right there? Something just got transferred out of this inventory, I didn't see what it was right there. What was that? The cementy paste, I think? I have no idea, you guys, holy heck. And there's, let me grab the organic palmer. It's about 1500 metal inside of his inventory, which is kind of crazy. I don't know where the chitin and the other stuff was going just a moment ago, was it? I don't have that set up to automatically pull resources inside of a specific chest just yet. So I don't know where they've gone. I also have flag boots over here. Ram shackle. So let's actually see what we get out of those. So we right now we have 1575. Oh, it's even taking some other stuff, I think, too. 1575 and 1615 or 1615. So we got like what? 40 or so uh, metal from that ram shackle flag boots right there. So that's honestly eh, pretty decent. What about the other stuff over here? Yeah, hide and blah blah blah. I'll take that. I'll take the chitin right there. Just because why not? And the metal, 80 pounds. That's kind of crazy. The stone. 322. Yeah, in a dodes inventory, it weighs significantly less. So, yeah, let's keep it in there. And let's actually transfer all the metal and the... Actually, actually put the metal over here. Because didn't I say I want to upgrade this, this sniper rifle over here? So let's do that. See if we can actually upgrade. So it's currently Ram Shack, what, 229.4%. Uh, still need... Okay, so we still need organic polymer. I just put that up. 300 more and 300 cement to paste. So let's grab some organic polymer. Oh, there it is right there. So we need like 328 or something like that, so let's grab 915 G's. And let's grab some cement. Do I have cement paste over here? Or? I have some. I don't know where the... Where did the cement... I don't know. Where the cement paste just went a moment ago. This guy's doing some uh, crops in his inventory, which is awesome. Let's go put those up inside the fridge over here. Yeah, I don't know what just transferred all those out of his inventory. That's kind of crazy. I guess we can make some more pretty easily. Just... Uh, oh god, that's a lot of spark. Oh, we already have some over here. Okay, let's grab some of those cement base. Let's upgrade the, uh, the sniper rifle a little bit more. We'll probably go on a little rampage here in just a bit to test out that uh, midnight. Let's see, 261.1% now for apprentice level. What do we need? Uh, oh, boom, we already have it at uh, Journeyman right there. Nice. And 758 more Palmer and 790 more cement base to upgrade again. It's currently at 294.3% weapon damage. Not too good. I think the only thing you could use for that, though, are straight bullets. So I don't think we could, like, have trank bullets or whatever for that thing. Maybe we can? I don't know. But uh, as far as I know, you can't. So right now, let's see if we can make more cement base. Let's do, like, uh, a 1,000 crafts if we can. Okay, 747 crafts. All right, nice. Uh, we're making six at a time, so that's good. And this is actually going pretty quickly right here, too. So we need, like, what, 700 or something like that? So, yeah. Even with this thing crafting it as fast as it can, it's still taking quite a while for it to craft all the cement base right there. So let me just let this run for a little moment. And while that's going, let me go put up some of the stuff inside of the fridges over here, like the raw meat. Oh, yeah, we have a kibble right there and another couple eggs right there, too. Uh, we have some... Oh, we have a forge I forgot to grind up. I guess we can go grind that up right now. Let's go grind it up. We'll see what we get out of that thing. Uh, uh, decent stuff. Can't complain about that. Let's give me a little bit more health so you're a little bit more durable against any critters. Especially another Alpha Styracosaurus is going to attack you to cause you to go into heck in fetal position mode. But uh, let's put up some of them other stuff over here now. All right, let's go shake up on the, uh, the whatever this thing's called again. Okay, so we have 1,200 cement paints right there. That's good. Uh, we need another, like, a bunch of organic. Let's get, eh, let's grab, like, half of that. So there you go. 1,446 right there. That's a lot. Let's put those over here and see if we can continue to upgrade this sniper rifle. Uh, Mastercraft right now. 900 more. Cement to paste, 278 more metal ingot, 768 more polymer. Oh my gosh. I guess we're going to have to deal with it being Mastercraft right now. I guess we're not going to be able to, to upgrade. I, I, I might be able to afford to make it like completely like an ascendant level and stuff like that. That's, getting, that's starting to get really expensive right there, you guys. And I haven't even used it yet. So I, I, don't, I don't want to waste any materials if I'm not going to use the thing, right? Golly. But I suppose... Uh, it takes, let's see, fabricated, oh, whoops, fabricated, well, there's a fabricated sniper rifle right there, oh, did I not unlock that? I don't know why it's not unlocked right there, but, uh, what's it called? Uh, bullets, let me see, is it called bullet? Yeah, advanced sniper bullet, I think that's the only thing it's actually able to craft, or able to shoot there, so, I suppose we could make some of those over here at the smithy, let's see if we can make some, uh, or, uh, make it at the fabricator, forgot about that, let's go over to the fabricator, let's make some, uh, cause it's only, like, what, two metal? Uh, there it is right there. Advanced sniper bullet. Two, yeah, two metal and 12 gunpowder. That's pretty decent. Let's get a... 
Let's see if we can make 100 crafts. 100 crafts of that, so that should be... Okay, so we can make 47 crafts. That's pretty decent. What are we missing to make more? Okay, gunpowder. Yeah, we can do that. Smart powder and, uh... Let's see. There it is right there. Let's make 100 crafts of that. Can we do that? Yeah, we can do 100 crafts, no problem. Still making the cement paste, though, so... Uh, I'll let that continue to go. Let's get a 1,000 crafts. Can I do 1,000? 191 more crafts. Okay, so 291 crafts of us. Gunpowder right there. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think we need... How's the charcoal going over here? Because that's what we need for the gunpowder, right? Yeah, still going, but honestly, what was it that we needed? The mammoth? I think the mammoth, yeah. I think the uh, conflagrant mammoth is the one that gives us a bunch of charcoal, so might be worth it to go over there and see if we can find a conflagrant mammoth randomly. That'd be pretty good, you guys. Not bad. 